So the initial recovery time from her surgeries was about two months. Um, it probably took another two months after that for the leg to, to fully heal um, and for her to go back to, to normal life. V's definitely been one of the uh, greatest professional challenges that I've faced. She just is a, a really beautiful dog. Um, I think when you look into her eyes, you, you definitely feel something and see something special. Um, she did love sitting on the couch with me. So if I was on the couch, she'd be, she's a very tactile dog. So she likes to be next to you, cuddled up on top of you. I don't think she knows how big she is. I didn't fall in love with her straight away. It took me a few months to get, to get you know, to get used to her and you know, and then now we're best friends. I can't really describe why I have a special bond with B. It just kind of happened. We both fell in love with each other. It might be her lazier lifestyle <laughs> that matches mine a bit more. We've got a connection that you just can't really describe. So B's personality, she's really uh, shy and quiet most of the time. Um, she's happy meeting new people. She isn't too interested in other dogs though. So most recently we um, did some repeat chest x-rays on B. So this was just to detect if there'd been any spread of the initial tumour. And unfortunately we did find um, a mass in one of her lung lobes, um, which is most likely spread from the initial cancer that she had on, on her leg. Um, and now that it's grown, we can see that there she does actually have terminal cancer. So the day that I found out that B had a terminal condition was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, you know, it was really shattering. I was at work, um, took her home and, you know, had a bit of a cry and a bit of a hug and gave her lots of treats and pats just to make sure she was okay. I saw her run for the first time. She played with toys for the first time, which I've never seen before. So, you know, just seeing that sort of sparks a bit of joy and makes you a bit happy to see, you know, that she's doing so well with you and that she is actually getting the love that she deserves. I think it still is is good news because, you know, seeing how she is today, seeing how happy and active she is and that, you know, she just she does have a really good quality of life. So some of Bee's favourite things to do is going for drives in the car, which is strange because lots of dogs prefer walks, but she really loves going for a drive. Um, she does love going to the beach, um, being around the water, sniffing everything. 